Hey, it's Bruce St. James. The Oscars are Sunday night and a little bit of a, a word of warning. I saw 126 movies last year. Now, you may think that's pretty cool, right? I saw all of the movies nominated for the big awards. I also saw a lot of really bad movies. Keep that in mind. I had to sit through a few of them that, uh, let's be honest, it wasn't worth the time. So looking ahead at the Oscars, it seems that there's a couple of, I, I would say kind of shoe-ins, uh, the picks. First off, everyone's talking about La La Land. This is the movie with Emma Stone, Ryan Gosling. It's a musical. Let's get that out of the way. But it's a musical about the golden age of Hollywood, a bit of a throwback. Gee, I wonder if the people who vote on these things would like a movie that really makes Hollywood look awesome and reminds them of a better time. Yeah, I think it's kind of the type of film that uh, the voters, at least, um, would tend to like. That doesn't mean it's going to sweep everything because it got some pretty serious competition this year. Moonlight, another Another film, smaller film, admittedly, but just a, a unique movie with some really, really strong performances. Um, I think you're really dealing with uh, the best actors and best actresses. I think you're going to see maybe a Casey Affleck for Manchester by the Sea, another movie most people didn't see. And um, I'd like to see Ruth Nega for Loving win Best Actress, uh, the, the Loving v. Virginia, the, the true story about a uh, Supreme Court decision that legalized interracial marriages. But uh, this was actually, I thought it started slow, but this became a pretty good year for good movies. Now, if you go to movies for car chases, aliens, and things blowing up, these aren't your movies. But really, runs the full gamut of really interesting and well done movies. But again, if I'm going to say it, I think La La Land and Moonlight are going to duke it out all night long. I think La La Land wins the majority of them. I'm Bruce St. James. Enjoy the Oscars on Sunday.